How's it going, everybody? So today I wanted to talk to you about mining on the i7 processors and uh, how fast they can be with miner gate, and also want to combine that with folding. But before we go into folding coins, I want to mainly deal with miner gate. And so I'm gonna mine each coin right here with four cores to show you how fast each coin can go on miner gate's i7 cores. Okay, and we're going to move on to the next one. We're going to switch this to four. Now this is Ethereum Classic. Now this is Ethereum. Now, I want you to pay attention. This Ethereum is mining on hash per second. This classic right here is mining on thousand hash a second. That's 225,000 hash a second. Now this is the next coin. Now this is the XDN. Digital note. And then finally we have the Monero. Now, I also wanted to show you some of the GPU mining, but unfortunately on this device, not all these coins can be GPU mined through the system. And so I'm going to show you some of the ones that do work or will not work, whichever it may be, um, whatever happens with it, you'll see. So for instance, right now it did load, it does 113 hash at two speed, and now it goes into 65. Um, I can raise the intensity, but I've noticed for hashing, raising the intensity to extremely high, for instance, won't change the numbers that much, or, or sometimes it'll even shut down the system, as the system cannot do that. And so 2 is my preferred uh, intensity for mining with GPUs. And so I'm going to go run through the list and show you what, what happens with each one. Okay, we're going to move on to the next one. Now pay attention that as I'm working each coin, you can look at how hard the processors are working and how hard the system is working. Uh, that is why the window on the top left that shows you memory, CPU, disk, that's all how in um, resource intensive this app is uh, becoming on our system. So let's move on to the next coin. Uh, 
Ethereum and Ethereum classics usually give me a problem with low memory trying to um, mine with the GPU as the GPU is at 96% capacity. So now we have the Dash coin. And uh, this Lenovo Flex Force GPU is a R7 dedicated video card. And finally, we have BCN, which is Bitcoin. So now that you've seen the hash rate of all the coins that I have listed here, what I want to do is actually start mining Ethereum Classic with 4 cores without a GPU and I'm going to begin folding coins. And you have to pay attention to the window on the top left and you'll see that we're at 93% CPU capacity, 89% memory zero disk zero network and what I want to do now is to unpause this so that my folding begins and what I'm gonna do now is actually simultaneously mine three different things and I'll tell you why it's actually three different things or well, actually it's kinda like four things but I'll get down to the details in a minute first off what I'm mining is the ethereum classic right and so we have Ethereum Classic running 4 cores doing 93% CPU capacity but what we also have is the folding coin running 3 CPUs trying to fold the object and we're having a GPU folding another project and because I'm using folding coins what happens is it's called merge mining and not only will I get rewarded with folding coins I will also get rewarded with cure coins and I will also get the Ethereum Classic that I'm mining but because I'm doing the folding at home running two different projects simultaneously that's um, the video card working and all four CPUs working together and it is Taking up 93% CPU capacity, 90% um, memory capacity, and the folding at home controller is barely using any of the cores uh, for folding. So it's mainly using it for the graphics cards, which doesn't require the RAM uh, from this regular motherboard system. It has its own RAM because it's dedicated. So this is definitely a very very um, good way of which you can utilize your resources to the fullest in which you're mining uh, both regular coins such as Ethereum or Bitcoin and you're also on the side helping save lives by folding proteins for medicine. So it's the best of both worlds. If your system can run this, you can get the maximum benefits by doing this method that I'm showing you guys how to do. Now if you guys don't know what these apps or these um because <clears throat> I'm on Windows 10 so they're not quite apps they're actually files of uh, exe. So if you guys don't know this software one is Minergate you can go to Minergate.com two is folding at home you can google folding at home and they will teach you how to install everything and run through a kind of semi-automated installation and then finally um, this list right here the task manager to show you guys exactly how hard each core is working and how what tasks are taking up the resources I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please thumbs up if you want to see more of these types of videos please subscribe if you have any questions about anything, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Check you guys out next time.